Poor mental health in the construction industry accounts for over 200 suicides per year. The sad and often unspoken truth of it is that construction workers are prone to stress, anxiety and depression for a number of reasons. And these factors are responsible for over 400,000 lost working days each year in the UK. As you may know for yourself, work-related stress in the construction industry can be triggered by heavy workloads, long working hours and always thinking about your physical safety while carrying out high-risk tasks. Then you've got the lack of routine, frequent travelling, being separated from family and working in isolation. As construction workers are also contract-based, anxiety can be triggered by a lack of job security or a steady wage, tight deadlines or restrictive budgeting costs. Construction is also known for its macho culture, which means as a predominantly male industry, construction workers can feel pressured to suck it up and get on with things, even if they're really struggling mentally or emotionally. This can be through internal pressure that they put on themselves, or it can be external pressure from their colleagues, employers, or even family and friends. A macho culture makes it difficult, sometimes almost impossible, for men to ask for help, even when they desperately need it. Some don't even feel comfortable saying that they don't know how to perform a task or use a piece of equipment, let alone discuss their mental health. And many men simply don't know how to express their feelings, whether it's about their job, money, relationships or their health. And this can cause a buildup of negative emotions that can easily trigger mental ill health, such as stress, anxiety and depression, and at its most devastating, suicide. Stress forces one in five construction workers to call in sick, and 90% of these feel they can't tell their boss the real reason why. To improve this, employers can create a workplace culture that allows their employees to get comfortable with being honest about how they feel. Never forgetting that this does not make someone weak, it means being human. If a worker feels that they can be honest and ask for help without feeling embarrassed or uncomfortable, employers can provide guidance and solutions before a worker's mental health deteriorates. One of the main reasons why this training course has been created is to raise awareness of mental ill health with the hope that both employers and employees can help to improve the well-being of their workforce and help to remove the stigma that surrounds mental health. This course also provides tools for you to take charge of your own well-being.